ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. The association Trois Liberté, Rights and Freedoms works together with several experts in various fields and lectures are organized on several important topics with the aim to correctly inform citizens. The association Trois Liberté also provides judicial advice to its members. This association asked me to intervene in my capacity as engineer and molecular biologist in the issue of 5G. Today's event has the full support of this association as the health and freedom of citizens, of citizens is severely affected, which I'm now going to explain. The universe consists of a series of dynamic magnetic fields that influence each other. These fields can be observed everywhere. The magnetic field of the Earth, the Sun, the planets, the stars, the galaxies, but also on atomic, molecular and cellular level. A basic chemistry course teaches us that when atoms form molecules, they position themselves according to their magnetic field, giving specific physical characteristics to the molecule. A set of molecules form cells, organs, physical bodies that have also their own specific vibrations. The proper function of our body cells is ensured by Earth's magnetic field because it protects us from the cosmic rays. But since the emergence of wireless telecommunication, the situation has severely changed. In 2010, the intensity of electromagnetic waves went over a quintillion times higher than the natural level of Earth. This means 10 to the power 18, or one with 18 zeros behind. And this, measure, this measurement does not take into account the meanwhile 4 and 5G. Using the resonance frequencies of the organs and brains, it was understood that functioning of cells, organs, emotions, moods, and thoughts can be changed, adjusted, or destroyed with electromagnetic fields. In 1965, the superpowers sought the cell phone and microwave derivatives as a very lucrative market. But they were aware it, it would be impossible to launch such products if the application's existing security limit remained. It was therefore necessary to raise the safety limit to ensure that industry and decision makers would never face legal action. The evidence that low levels of electromagnetic waves can cause cancer has been known since 1971 and is kept secret from the public. The Naval Medical Research Institute document refers to more than 2,000 papers detailing all the health problems. Each of these 2,000 documents refers to a research conducted over, over several years by the military in conjunction with universities, and all of them refer to the low levels of radiation. This is kept secret because it is classified top secret. The conclusions of International Symposium of Health Effects on Low Microwave Emissions held in October 1973 in Warsaw Poland were marked by uh, the World Health Organization top secret. So we paid the World Health Organization to protect us and they tell it to, to lock down, to, to make it top secret. The ICNIR, the International Commission on Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection, was set up by the telecommunications industry and this organization is recognized by involved multinationals in more than 50 countries. This commission is not impartial and more, con and more consideration is given to financial gains than to the safety and the health of the citizens. This commission simply adopts the 1953 guidelines of Engineer Schwann, which focus basically on heating limit of the tissue within a certain time period, the famous SAR code on your mo mobile phone. All scientific studies carried out since 1949 pointed to the dangerous and serious consequences of this technology are simply brushed aside by the authorities. And relevant scientists who denounce the dangers are discredited, heavily threatened, and censored by the multinationals and authorities, including universities, media world, and the major players of the internet. Dr. George, uh, Dr. George Carlo is one of those many examples. In 1993, Dr. Carlo was approached by the CTIA 
a powerful association with advocates on behalf of the U.S. telecom in, uh, industry for legislative and regulatory policies. He was assigned to lead a study where he had to scientifically prove that mobile phones do not pose a health risk. However, Dr. Carlos soon discovered another truth. There are studies that show problems and potential problems, and there are studies that remain unclear and inconclusive. The industry distorts the science to be able to say there is no risk at all. This is scientific fraud. In 2013, after 20 years of legal proceedings, Dr. De Carlo declares, the power of this technology has left its mark in all areas, economics, politics, and education. This is no longer a battle against this industry alone, but also against the addicted users. Telecommunication acts also as big brother, and obscure authorities have complete control over your life, without even you realizing it. They can modify your mindset using discreetly inserted applications and, and with certain frequencies. This technology works with the Internet of Things, IoT, and in addition to all the devices you use every day, you yourself are part of this network. They can even fully control and influence your body. The experimental injections that have been administered to a large majority of the population in 21-22 on the recommendation of the World Health Organization ensure that these people are now completely under their control. Disturbing elements are erased and the number of deaths will increase dramatically because the authors of Agenda 21 and 2030 believe that there are approximately 95% too many people on Earth. A large part of our political, scientific, judicial and media world is corrupt and participates in this genocide. Realize that throughout history we have regularly dealt with psychopaths and that their way of thinking is completely different from ours. They have no empathy. As mentioned at the outset, our association Trois Liberté gives informative lectures on various important subjects. Knowledge is power and staying in ignorance is your own responsibility. Thank you for your attention.